What's going on guys, it's Golly, and this is my Modern Warfare 3 perk breakdown series. So if you like this first video, make sure you stay tuned on my channel for the second and third episode of the series. And in this episode I'll be covering the first tier perks, which starts out with Recon. Explosive damage paints the target on the minimap, and Recon Pro, bullet damage paints the target on the minimap. So pretty much what that perk does is, Whenever I noob tube somebody, because I use noob tubes a lot because I'm a scrub, their dot, or whatever you want to call it, is going to show up on the minimap whenever I get a hit marker on them. So, or I guess it would show up if I killed them too, but what would be the sense in that? So, Recon Pro, bullet damage, same thing. If I shoot somebody, they get away from me. It shows me where they were on the minimap. I'm not sure if it shows your entire team yet. I would love to know that. But,. I can see this perk coming in a lot of handy because of all the assassin users we're going to be seeing. So UAV isn't going to be as helpful in this game unless you're using Recon and Recon Pro. So next perk, Sleight of Hand. We all know Sleight of Hand from the previous Call of Duties. It's always a good choice. Faster reloading and the Pro version lets you swap weapons faster, which I feel should have been the ability in Black Ops rather than aiming down the site faster, but I didn't make the game so it's not my call. And Blind Eye, here we go, undetectable by air support and sentries, Blind Eye Pro, launchers lock on quicker and extra bullet damage versus air support and sentries. So this perk is going to be a really good perk if you're trying to hide, use assassin and dead silence with it. It's going to be a really good combo for a ghost class using a silencer. Or if you're just trying to take down other team's kill streaks, it'll be really good because if you have the stinger or whatever the equipment is to shoot down helicopters in this game you're gonna be able to lock on quicker so that's always gonna be good and extra bullet damage versus air support which was the stopping power ability the pro version of it for Modern Warfare 2 so that's now in Blind Eye Pro now extreme conditioning uh, the ability is sprint longer sprint for longer distances and extreme conditioning pro climb obstacles faster now in the previous Call of Duties at one point or another, Extreme Conditioning, or Marathon as it was called, uh, gave you Unlimited Sprint. Now, I feel like they should have added Unlimited Sprint to the perk to make it good, but Extreme Conditioning, compared to these other perks, is not really that great of a choice, because all you get to do is sprint a little longer and climb over stuff faster, and that's not anywhere near the level of these other perks, if you ask me. So I don't see a lot of people using that perk at all, uh, just my opinion on it. Next one, Scavenger, resupply from dead bodies, that's unconfirmed yet, and spawn with extra magazines is the pro ability. Now the reason that's unconfirmed and there's no picture there is because when people played it in COD XP, uh, they weren't high enough of a level to use Scavenger, so no one knew the exact ability for it yet, and I think Infinity Ward's just hiding it still. So they still have a card to play up their sleeve with one of these perks. So Scavenger, if the abilities stay what they are now, I can see it being a lot better because in Black Ops, when you use Scavenger it was kind of underused because you had dual mags and dual mags gave you a lot more ammo and Scavenger only lets you resupply your bullets but in Modern Warfare 2 it lets you resupply your noob tubes, RPGs, stingers, grenades, equipment, everything. and. From what I've heard, that's how Scavenger is going to be in this game also. And remember to stay tuned on my channel for when I cover the second tier of perks tomorrow. And remember to hit the like button and check out my channel. Alright guys, peace!